On a nice summer day, Goldilocks had an idea. Since she never liked to read books, she built a tall tower by stacking the books in the house on top of each other. She jumped over the tower and started having fun. Seeing this, her mother immediately warned Goldilocks. Books are for reading, Goldilocks. Playing with them, you can damage them. Ugh, but books are so boring. It's better to play games with them. At that time, Goldilocks noticed another book almost falling out of the window. Hmm, where did this book come from? Just as Goldilocks was about to touch the book, the book suddenly took wings and flew towards the forest. Goldilocks was so curious that she followed the book. Hey! Wait! Flying book! Stop! Uh, oh, where did you go? In the depths of the forest where Goldilocks was running, there was a white hut. A cute goat family was living in this hut. And the hut was full of books. Sometimes even neighboring animals were going and borrowing books from the goat family. The father goat wasn't sleeping before finishing his carpentry books. The mother goat's cookbook was always with her. And the baby goat was loving colorful fairy tale books. That's great! Now I can make a rocking chair for myself! Hmm! So clover soup should only take eight minutes to cook. But that day, the baby goat was very upset because she could not find her favorite book. Oh, <laughs> I can't find my book anywhere. I want my winged book. <laughs> Maybe your book went for a little stroll in the forest, my little goat. The goat family started to look for the lost winged book on the forest path. At that time, Goldilocks was very worried because she lost her way in the forest. Oh, how am I going to get home now? Oh, I can't find the book either. Oh. Then the winged book appeared right behind her like a butterfly. Just when Goldilocks was about to catch it, the book flew towards the goat family's hut. Goldilocks came running to the door of the hut and knocked on the door. The door opened slowly. Hello? Is anyone there? Goldilocks saw hundreds of yellow, pink, thin, and thick books. She started searching around to find where the winged book was hiding. Hmm, this is a big, thick carpentry book. It must be so boring. Goldilocks found other books in every corner of the house. But none of them interested her as much as the winged book. Huh, and that's a cookbook. Ugh, the vegetable dishes are not for me. <laughs> Unable to find the book she was looking for, Goldilocks finally got very tired. When she curled up in a corner to fall asleep, the winged book was placed under her head like a pillow. The goat family, who could not find the baby goat's book anywhere in the forest, eventually returned to their hut. But when they entered the hut, they saw that all the books were scattered. Huh? Someone threw my carpentry book into the fireplace! Someone threw my cookbook into the pot! Someone found my winged book! Not only did she find it, she made it into a pillow and slept on it! Oh! <laughs> when the baby goat cried, the mother and the father goat came to her immediately. They were very surprised to see Goldilocks sleeping in a corner. Who is this person? Why did she scatter our books? Look at those wrinkled pages! 
Goldilocks woke up when she heard the baby goat crying. Oh, uh, you! Uh, I, I'm, I'm Goldilocks. Well, calm down, little girl. We won't hurt you. I was just looking for this flying winged book. Sorry for breaking into your home. That book in your hand is my book. I won't give it to anyone. Oh, but for the first time, I really wanted to read a book. The baby goat was very stubborn, but she was very surprised when she met someone like her who saw this mysterious book take wings. Huh. No child has ever seen this book fly before. So it seems like the mystery book chose you. So keep it. It is my present for you. <laughs> Goldilocks was on top of the world with happiness. She immediately began to read the first sentences of the winged book. At that moment, all the books in the house took off and took their place in the library. Other books in the house magic too? <laughs> books don't have magic, Goldilocks. But our imagination, which has grown thanks to books, has a wonderful magic. It's getting dark, Goldilocks. Let's take you home. Your mom must have been worried about you. But we haven't read the other books yet. No one can read that many books in one day. Now you can come to us to read books whenever you want. The goat family took Goldilocks to the garden of her family's house and said goodbye to her. Goldilocks quickly passed her mother, lay down on the floor, and immediately started reading her mysterious book. Goldilocks, where have you been all these hours? I was chasing a flying book, Mommy. <laughs> <laughs> Do the books ever fly? Yes, they don't really fly, but anything can happen in our dreams. From that day on, the baby goat and Goldilocks became book friends. Sometimes they lent each other books. Sometimes they met to read a book together and had a dream. Thus, these two friends realize that the mystery of the books can be discovered by dreaming. And one day, our dreams in the books will come true. Addis Ababa. <laughs>